Welcome to the HR Empowerment Podcast, where we will uncover strategies and new insights from HR professionals who discuss up-to-date regulations, best practices, and the most pressing topics like diversity and equity, leadership, dealing with difficult situations, and much more that affect your bottom line and business. Thanks for joining us. Hey, everybody, Wendy Sellers here, the HR lady. I am back with our final episode, five of five, talking about DEI from the perspective of HR and marketing. And we want to jump right in and give some tips for every business leader regarding DEI action items. And then also, actually, let's start this out, Michelle, by letting people know how they can reach you because they're all probably in there thinking, I want that game. I want that game. I need help. I need an expert. Yeah, so I like to say follow me on LinkedIn for all of my professional stuff and my personal page, Michelle, last name N-G-O-M-E. And of course, the card game, um, be, in- be inclusive, the card game.com. Awesome. Get the game. It seems super, super, super cool. I was drooling when you sent me the links. I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. And, I, you know, I might get it myself, but just really to use as uh, to educate me too. Cause like I said, I am not a diversity, equity, and inclusion expert. I can help companies start going into that direction, which I have done. But then when they're ready to go full blown, um, after they just cleaned up the mess, uh, then we have to get another <laughs> expert involved because that is not my expertise. I know enough to say I can help you a little bit, but I probably can't get you through this whole process. So with that said, what I do want to talk about is just jumping into giving some tips for every business leader regarding you know diversity, equity, inclusion, and what the heck does that even mean? What do you got for us? Well, the first thing is, if necessary, make sure you take an audit. Right. So let's do um, a temperature check. What's the current climate of your organization? Um, What group of people do you feel is underrepresented, whether it's in the hiring part or the promotion? You know, do a good survey, maybe a focus group and figure out what is the climate of your organization. Um, If I know it's a tough time. There's a lot of layoffs. So if your company's in a hiring freeze, let's really focus on the company culture, right? What are the core values? What's the mission, the vision? Let's create one. Let's reiterate one. <laughs> let's right. get some cohesiveness amongst the company culture, um, department by department, team by team. Um, and then the third thing is um, finding, I think a lot of companies have perks, um, but not necessarily benefits, you know, outside of medical. Um, so let's figure out that out and figure out what does equity mean to people, right? Um, I know when I was a 25 year old woman, I wanted money. You know, now that I'm a little bit older, I want balance as much as possible. Right? So, <laughs> so what what are some things that you can give to your employees? You know, four day work schedule, um, whatever the case may be, that can benefit. Um, employee one-on-one or as a collective. So those were, those would be my top tips. I love them. And uh, uh, some comments on what you mentioned too, is, you know, if you are going to do a full blown out survey or, you know, whatever it might be, please get an expert involved or at least buy one that has been vetted out and proved to not be insulting um, to, to people because there's so many people, I, I see this and JC's laughing, but I see it happening and I'm like, oh, why didn't you call me first? You know, heck, you can buy a survey that's already specifically for what you need, but if you change a few words in there, you've already invalidated it. So don't be changing the experts words you maybe your company can't afford a full-blown a dei consultant but you can maybe buy tools from them and they can help you uh you know push that survey along also before you go and like oh we're gonna do this survey the biggest thing even when i just do employee engagement surveys whether it's diversity inclusion or something else i just say what are the what's the engagement survey i go to the executives i say okay what are you gonna do when the results come back oh nothing we just want to know and i'm like nope then you're not doing it (laughs) You're not doing it with my name, that's for sure, because those people are going to be PO'd off at me now um, because they're like, great, you asked for our advice, you asked for our information, you asked for what we want, you didn't do anything. And now we're even more mad than we were before. (laughs) Yeah, what are next steps? 
Right. What are the next steps? What are the next steps? And so make it clear in the announcement, we're doing this survey, then we're having committee, and then we're going to do this, and this is how you can be involved in the committee, and these are the parameters and the application part of being involved in the committee. When is it all going to happen? Is it going to be a year, three months, six months? Um, You know, bigger organizations often take longer to do something. Smaller organizations might not, but sometimes they do too because they don't even have an HR department or a marketing department. (laughs) And so consultants are the way to go. There are so many diversity consultants out there, so many um, HR and marketing consultants that can help you. JC, you have anything to add here? I personally don't trust surveys or their anonymity. So if when you have to deal with someone like me or those who I know that might have credible fear in their heart Excellent and point. mind, how do you overcome that? Excellent point. So this is also where you can have an external company involved and that the email. So uh, I thank you for bringing this up. I didn't even think about this, JC, but I did this last year with that very large company I was talking about. And um, they already told me up front, our employees don't trust us and we don't blame them because we have done awful things in the past. And so we decided that the survey was going to come directly from me, my personal email. Um, they did not have access to the results. I was the only one with the survey portal, you know, the company that we use. And we told the employees that. Did they believe us? I don't know. We got amazing results, though. Um, not good results. We got really amazing results that were accurate <laughs> that said, whoa, we have no diversity. We have no equity. And we definitely don't have any inclusion here. And it was you know, I told them straight up, you already know the results you're going to get. Uh, do your executives who happen to be um, uh, commissioners, so voted in commissioners, I'm like, are they behind this or not? Because if they're not behind this, people are going to know and they're like, they're not thrilled about it, but they're prepared because we can't find people and we keep losing people. And when we do the um, the the exit surveys, the results we are getting is, it was many things. Compensation was one of the biggest things as well. But the other things was a lot about diversity um, and the lack of inclusivity. And um, we didn't even get to the equity part yet because that, that's much harder to obtain. That's good. All of that's good. <laughs> Any final words before we, we wrap up this session in a, in a minute, Michelle? I think, you know, my biggest thing is we all have our own unique experience and lens that we bring to the table, which means we're at different parts of our diversity journey. Um, So let's just continue to have an open mind when it comes to learning from one another. Agree. Agree. Which means you cannot expect your employees to be working 60 minutes every hour because if they are producing only work products uh, 60 minutes an hour every single hour they're supposed to be working that means that they're probably not communicating and learning from each other which thank you for bringing that up michelle training 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 on everything from unconscious bias to all forms of discrimination. So many companies only do sexual harassment discrimination, but discrimination is a lot more than just sexual discrimination. You know, it's also about race and gender and gender orientation and and ability or disability, age and so on. And it, it depends on what state you are in that you may have more laws that go above and beyond the federal laws. So you have to, at a minimum, start with some kind of training of the management team, then the, the next level, and then the employee team on harassment and discrimination. But flip that around. When I go into companies, um, I'm doing I'm doing one like next week, I think I'm doing a training on, on um, harassment and discrimination. I'm like, can I flip this around and make it into diversity and inclusion? And then we tuck a little bit in there about harassment. The state that I'm doing it, it doesn't have a requirement for that, you know, boring harassment training. But when I flip it around and do it another way and say, hey, don't we all want to just get along? Well, this is one of the ways you're making people, you may be making people feel uncomfortable. Oh, and by the way, it's against the law to do that. The employees go, I never even thought about it that way. I usually just sit through this boring class and go, get me out of here. I'm there, I've done it. Where do I sign? Let me the heck out of here. But let's not make things boring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can we all agree walking away from today? Let's not make things boring. Let's not make things boring. <laughs> JC? In the light of not making things boring, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, the Be Inclusive, a DEI card game facilitation deck is designed to help teams gain a better understanding of company culture and diversity, equity, and inclusion.
organizations should be prepared to have better conversations, which will lead to a more positive company culture. Be inclusive includes two decks, company culture and diversity, equity and inclusion. Each deck contains 50 prompts to help team members have a facilitated conversation. Visit BeInclusiveTheCardGame.com to grab yours today. And if you want to hear more of that amazing voice, I would encourage everyone to check out JC's podcast, Interesting Things with JC. It's only two to five minutes, and it's just amazing. It's all these odd things from around the world that every day I listen to it, I'm like, wow, how did I not know that? <laughs> oh, stop. You're too kind. Go on, though. <laughs> if, you, if you want to hear anything specific in the future from Michelle, for myself, from JC, please let us know. You could shoot me an email, wendy at the hrlady.com. In the meantime, thank you so much for your time today, Michelle. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Take care. Thank you for joining the HR Empowerment Podcast, brought to you by Aurora Training Advantage. We hope you've gained new insight and strategies to navigate the HR profession. We look forward to you joining us again on the HR Empowerment Podcast.